Sneak into my den and I wouldn't see you. Huh? I knew you were there, and just for that, I'm going to turn you all into frogs. Watch for the Wicked Wizard next week at the same time. I know there's no such thing as wizards, but that TV program can be pretty scary just the same. It scares me every time, and I still look at it every week. Do you think it hypnotizes me or something? Every time I watch the program, I get thinking, maybe there really are wizards. <laughs> Something got smashed. Oh, a car window. What became of our baseball? Apologize. So naturally, I'm teaching them a lesson. You're going too far. They're just kids who are having a game of baseball. You keep out of this. If you try to interfere, I'll turn you into a frog. Oh. Oh. What's become of Weather? He disappeared. The wizard's gone too. There's a frog there. Ribbit. Magic. Ribbit. With all those lights flashing, I didn't really see what happened. Oh, oh, poor Weather. It was mean of that wizard to turn him into a frog. Don't worry, Weather. We'll look after you. It's the first time I've ever had dinner with a frog sitting on the table. Ribbit. Well, he doesn't like carrots, and it sounds to me as if he's going to be hard to get along with. Now, Rubear, you said the wizard scorched the seat of your pants, but there's no sign of it now. I know. It's very strange, because I felt it burning. It only stopped when weather protected us. I'm glad weather came along. Potato? Ugh. He's a frog. He probably wants bugs to eat. Papa! Oh, uh, sorry, Mommy. I'm sure weather wouldn't want to eat insects. Maybe weather would like a nice warm bath. Return it? Yeah. I think it's just about right now. I'll never forgive that wizard for doing this to Weather. There, now hold still. I'm trying to make it nice and clean. Oh. Ribbit. 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 Adios. It says here a spell cast by a wizard cannot be removed by anyone except the wizard himself. Ribbit. We've got to find a way to get Weather back to his own shape. You remember how angry the wizard looked, Laura? He was angry about the broken window and the bump on his head. That reminds me, we never did say we were sorry about that. Well, no wonder we were too scared to speak. Well, tomorrow I've got to track down that wizard somehow, for weather's sake. I don't know the best place to look for a wizard, but we've got to find him so he can turn this frog back into weather. I'm scared, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> There he is, up there! 
<laughs> you come down here and change weather back. And don't be so mean. <laughs> well. <laughs> Are you hurt, Rubio? <laughs> Wizards in the trees. Now the left one disappears and two more come in its place. Now you five move in. They're all just a bunch of mean wizards. <laughs> Look at that, Rubert. They all disappeared that time. Leave me alone. Get your hands off me. Can't you see I'm busy? Huh? But Floppy, you managed to catch a wizard. This one was really the only one. I'm sorry our baseball broke the window of your car and gave you a bump on the head. It was all our fault. But please, give us back Weather the way he used to be. He's our friend. Bobs are nice, but Weather's shake was better. <laughs> now that you're polite, I'll stop bothering you. I'm glad you have such warm feelings for Weather, but that rabbit gave me another bump on the head. Hello, everybody. Weather! If that's Weather, who are you? Rabbit. That's a real frog that just happened to be there. And all this time you've left us worrying about you? It's not fair. I'm sorry to worry you. You see, this fellow's not a wizard. He's a magician and a good friend of mine. When I saw you break his car window and then hide under the car without even saying you were sorry, I let my friend scare you a little. We're sorry. We didn't apologize because we were so scared. We'd been watching the Wicked Wizard on TV. But you don't really think I'm the Wicked Wizard on TV. Weather said you're a magician, but you look an awful lot like that spooky, scary, wicked wizard. Mmm, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why I saw so many of you at the same time up in the trees. The sparks on my fingertips and the flame on your pants, even all those copies of me you thought you saw, they were all just produced by hypnotism. Oh, oh no, no, you, you mean you hypnotized us? us? That's right. I hypnotized you and then made you see things that weren't there. Flashing electrical currents. Sparks from my fingertips and a bit of warmth on the seat of your pants. <laughs> I knew you were playing tricks on Rubair because I wasn't hypnotized. I was really confused. If you don't believe me, we could try it again. No, no once was enough for me. Hmm. Am I hypnotized or just dreaming? <laughs> There's something under it. Rabbit. <laughs> Those are free tickets for my magic show tonight. I hope to see you there. You think they're real tickets? I bet they disappear. <laughs> they're real, all right. Thank, Thank you, you magician. magician. You're very welcome.
children, this coming Sunday, my magazine will hold an orienteering race for teens of children only. What's an orienteering race? It's a race across the countryside where you have to find your own way to the finish line. First, you choose teams of three or four members each. Then each team uses a map and compass to follow the path set out for the race. I know none of you have ever done orienteering before, so we put up some signposts to help you find the way. The team that wins will get a beautiful trophy and a free ride in a helicopter. Wow, think of that! A helicopter ride! That's it! My brothers and I have got to win! You'll have a tough time beating my team, Walter! And do you boasters know how to use a map and a compass? Huh? No. In that case, you'll never even find the finish line. The children are excited about it already. Yes, I'm glad because it will teach the children how to find their way with a compass if they get lost. And of course, they'll see a lot of our beautiful countryside. Ready? We'll begin the orienteering race in just a moment. Each of the three teams will leave separately. The teams must report to the first and second checkpoints along the way. The members of each team must stick together, otherwise they'll lose. Hear that? Stick together! Ha! Nobody's gonna beat us! Okay, who's gonna win? We, we are. are! The teams will each leave the starting point five minutes apart. Right, we're Team A leaving now! <laughs> Team B will be next. Are you ready? That's fine, Penny, but stay with me. Team B, go. Oh, it is now. <laughs> Team C, go. Yay! Ruben, are you sure we're going in the right direction? Well, we're looking for the first checkpoint, so we should go that way. Ah! Good. Oh, what nice flow. Yeah, oh. and more over here. Hey, raspberries, stop that. Now listen, everybody, we're not on a picnic. This is a race we're in, and we gotta keep going. Now stop fooling around. You said we were sure to win. There's a lot of time yet, Floppy. Yeah, we're still a long way ahead of the others. Hmm. Well, we won't be if we don't get going. <laughs> Come on, Bye. Now look what you've done. We're the last one. The first team ought to be showing up soon. See anything yet, Mingo? Yes! Bluebeard's team is coming! Oh, my! <laughs> Come on, Bluebeard, are reporting the first checkpoint, sir. Hey, we were the first ones here. Oh, no, you weren't. Bluebeard beat you. Looks about the same time to me. It took 20 minutes to get here. Not bad at all. Yeah, but Ruber, we were later than you leaving the starting point, so we're really winning the race. See what I mean? The race isn't over yet, Colt. You're on your way to the second checkpoint now. It should take you about 40 minutes. There are arrow signs along the way to help you, but be sure to use your map and compass. Good luck. This stamp on your map shows you checked in here. Okay, boys, let's go! Yay! <laughs> We'll beat Walter's team yet. Sure! Checkpoint one, calling checkpoint two. The teams of Walter and Robert have just left checkpoint one. Roger, checkpoint two here. We'll be watching for them over and out. <laughs> <laughs> this way! Another arrow sign. That way. Hey, wait a sec. What's the matter, Walter? Yeah. What, what you, you doing? doing? Now the other team will go that way. They'll find the right path sooner or later by using their maps and compasses. But this will give us some extra time and we won't have to hurry. Very smart, Walter. That's mean. We can take our time now. It took you 35 minutes to get here. That's all for you, Bobby. I'm having trouble keeping my team together. 
I've got it. We're a choo-choo train. All aboard, folks. This is the second arrow sign we found. So we follow the path this way. Shouldn't you be checking on the map? Oh, I'm sure it's right. Let's go. Checkpoint two calling checkpoint one. This is checkpoint one. Go ahead. None of the teams have arrived here yet. I'm beginning to get worried. That's very strange. Walter and Rubier's teams left here over an hour ago. I'd better go and check the course. I'll get back to you. Roger. Gee, I wonder what's become of them. Oh. Checkpoint two here. Go ahead, please. This is Miss Lewis at the finish line. Have all the teams passed you? Well, no. Where can they be? Stand by. I'll send out a search party in the helicopter. You mean they've disappeared? Which way should we go? I can't even find this place on the map. Ah! Huh? Betty! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'll never be able to find a way out of this place. I can hear someone talking. Who could it be way down here? It's from over there. Walter! Rubear! We followed the arrow sign and got lost. Then we fell in here. Is that what happened to you too? Well, we got lost and came back. But when we got to the place where Walter changed the arrow sign, he couldn't remember which way was right. So we took the wrong path and fell in here. It serves you right. You shouldn't have moved the sign. All this is your fault. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Rubert. Leave him alone, Rubert. That's not very important now. Our problem is getting out of here. She's right, Rubert. Let's work together and find a way out of this place. Hmm. Arrow sign doesn't seem to be right. Oh, hey, that isn't where we put the arrow sign. Somebody must have pulled it up and moved it. Huh? I thought there was something wrong with it. That's quite a big stream. It must be coming from the lake. It's got to be coming from somewhere. Let's follow it and see if we can find a way out. Forgive me for what I did. Sure, but you're strangling me. Huh? <gasps> I can see both the teams now. Hey! Oh, oh, yeah. We were so worried about you, we couldn't figure out what had happened to you. You can tell us about all your adventures later on. Right now, you should get going. You know the race isn't over yet. Still got a chance to win. Let's go! Yeah. Come on, brothers, we can beat them all yet. I win. <laughs> Proclaim Floppy's team the winner. I'd also like to compliment Floppy on his excellent map reading and on the way he held his team together. Floppy's team wins the trophy and the helicopter. All right! Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, what a shame. We'd be the winners if I hadn't changed that sign and got us mixed up. Oh. Uh -huh. There's been another result of our orienteering race. The discovery of a truly extraordinary cave that we didn't know existed before. So to the team that discovered it, we are awarding a special prize, even though they didn't win the race. Hey, Walter, that's us she's talking about. Uh-huh. Free helicopter ride goes to Rubeer. Uh -huh. <gasps> that's 
That's not fair. We discovered the cave, too. But you don't deserve anything because you cheated by moving the arrow sign. Oh. Look down there. That's where the water flows out of the lake and into the cave that we discovered. Maybe our cave will get to be a big tourist attraction. I hope so. 